everyone, it's Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener. Today is just the most beautiful day. It is bright and blue skies, a warm sunshine. It's very, very calm. There's no wind, it's lovely. So I have to do some gardening because tomorrow I believe it's going to rain. So I did tell you last week, if you watched my garden tour, that I've had a great sadness and lost two, possibly three of my Ilex stopes around container garden. And that is the trouble with the formal design that you lose one thing and you know, the whole design is gone. Very sad, I'm not going to replace them with like for like. I also have a plan for something that I can use already in my garden, which I can replace those Ilex stokes with at least temporarily. I also have some lovely plants which I've just picked up on clearance for my window box and also I'm going to move my Picea Glauca Daisies Whites because they were gorgeous in the spring but I didn't think that they're going to get so burnt and hot against this brick wall all in the summer so they need to move so I'll see how much I can get done. I also had said that I wasn't going to try and overwinter my pelagoniums well, they have been gorgeous. But I think I'll give it a go. It's worth a go because they are pretty and it will be a good experiment. Let me show you the plants, first of all, that I have for the window box. Here's my window box, which is already cleared out, all ready for planting. These are gorgeous and I got them on clearance, three pounds. They're Carex Everest and they're just beautiful. And they will be evergreen all year in winter interest. So that would look lovely. And I have four, so two in each side. So I think that would look nice. And I can always replant these in the landscape. I do, I do I'm not a fan of grasses normally, but I do like carex. And then over where the glaucas are, these are the Picea glauca daisies white which I'm going to move. So I'm going to pop them up and I have these slightly different, but still bargain at three pounds. These are called Carex Evergold. So I'm going to put three in there. So that's that. So they're all the jobs that I'm doing today and I uh, hope you'd like to come along with me.
uh, stokes here, two of them probably around here-ish. So we're going to pot up the pelagoniums. We have more pelagoniums over here and I'm going to pot those up. See if I can overwinter them. It's worth a try, I think. I have taken out a few of my pelagoniums. So we have one dark pink and one light pink has gone here because my lovely friend Edie has given me from her garden this hydrangea. She gave this to me two days ago and I still haven't planted it. So I think it's going to go in that spot there. So I'm going to plant that there. I have potted up some pelagoniums. We'll give them a try in the cold frame stroke greenhouse. I will just deadhead, give them a tidy, give them a water, put them in there. So I have a selection. I'm out of pots now. So I've only got tiny pots left. So I don't think I can pot anything else up. Look how wonderful this has done. This was seven plants, seven really lovely still flowering so here is the corner of the garden where the ilex stokes are and you can see definitely that one in front has died that one to the left and this one over the back that does look uh, quite brown on top so it's a bit sad a little bit sad but there you go and shall we do this quickly move those ilex stokes well i need to plant that we'll plant that we'll move the ilex stokes over to here because i'm running out of steam and motivation but i do want to get this done so i'm going to do that quickly and then i will come back to you because i need to charge my phone and show you the end result well, it's the end of a very productive day. I'm not quite sure what I filmed and what I haven't filmed actually, because we had a disaster at the front garden, the fence fell down. So I went to help Richard, who was trying to hold it up single-handedly, but I left this camera filming nothing for over an hour. And uh, then my camera had died or the battery had died. So it was all like a, I don't know what's on film, so I'll have to cobble something together. But let me show you what I did achieve. I've planted Edie's hydrangea, and I've put it there, which I think will look very pretty. I don't even know what it is. I think it's a limelight, could be a little lime, I'm not sure. And then as we pan over, you can see what I've done here is I took the lavender, which was at the either side of this chair. And I had been saying for a while, it was in two lines, either side of the chair. A line of it was there, a line of it was there. And I've been wanting to move it so now what I've done, I've used it over there. I'll show you close up in a moment, but here are the two Ilex Stokes. So I've just planted them in there. I don't know that they're going to last, to be honest. Here's a close up. They're not looking so good, but anyway, we will leave them in there, see what happens. And yes, so a close-up of the lavender. I think it looks all right. I don't know how happy the lavender will be here. I've just watered it. Lavender doesn't like water, as you know. But I've watered it because I've replanted it. So hopefully it will perk up. We shall see. I think it's the best of a bad situation. I need to uncover the stepping stones. It's supposed, supposed to be able to see the stepping stones, but I'm worn out, everyone. Worn out. And
and I did repot some of the pelagoniums which are now in the cold frame greenhouse. There's the three Piceas waiting to be replanted. Here's the new window box and I decided in the end I didn't plant um, daffodil bulbs in. I was going to put daffodil bulbs as well but I don't think I could have planted them deep enough to be honest so I left those. Had a little tidy up and a sweep. Here are the other Carexes. Now they've all just been watered so they're all like a little droopy but I think this looks nice for autumn and I can always switch it out again with maybe more begonias. These begonias are still looking wonderful and over here finally in the cold frame we have all the pelagoniums are potted. Yes. So at the moment I have the the latches or the windows open there. So I'd have to keep an eye on the frost. And uh, that's it. Goodness, busy. I hope I've got something filmable to show you, but isn't it look pretty? in the late afternoon sunshine. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I hope I've got some footage to show you because I'm not so sure what's been filmed and what hasn't, but fingers crossed. And uh, it's been a beautiful day today here in the garden. So I hope you're having fun in your autumnal gardens and I will see you soon. I'm Jeanette, I'm the Enthusiastic Gardener. Take care everyone and see you next week. Bye.